Now before we start the subject of this video, I already know that there's going to be a lot of trolls complaining about how I'm just trying to get you to go to my website to buy some product, which is true, but I also want to give you the information that you need. So I really can't tell you exactly what's in this solution because of USDA laws. I, I would get fined. So I'm going to be putting the information in an Easter egg form in this video. And if you watch very carefully, you will see all the information that you need, but you will have to watch the whole video and you'll have to watch it very carefully. Welcome to Randy's Tropical Plants. Today I'm standing here next to my beautiful Nam Dok Mai mango tree. And one of the most common questions I get about uh, any plant really, uh, but especially mango trees, is why is my tree healthy and vigorous but it does not bloom? Mangoes, in order for them to bloom, have to have a trigger. That trigger for them happens to be a dry season. Mangoes come from India where they have a very distinct monsoon weather pattern where they have hot, wet summers and cooler but much drier winters. It's that dry period that that causes the mango to trigger itself to initiate a flush of panicles and grow flowers and, and produce fruit. Now that's why it's very important why you should never ever water your mango tree in the winter time. You need to give it that dry period. If you have an automatic sprinkler system or something like that that's probably a big part of why your mango is not blooming if it isn't. If you live in a climate that's not, uh, doesn't have a monsoon weather pattern, such as Southern California, if you, if you get a lot of rain in the wintertime, that can very well cause your mango tree to never bloom. And it is best to let the mango tree bloom on its own, to let nature take its course, but if it's never going to bloom, sometimes you just gotta have some mangoes to eat. So there is good news. There is a method where you can force a mango to, to, to bloom. And I'm going to be documenting that entire process in this video. Uh, the process involves a foliar application of a fertilizer. It's a nitrogen-based fertilizer. And you, you coat the leaves on the top and the bottom with this fertilizer. You also coat the stems with the fertilizer. You don't want to get it on the ground you want to ma minimize the amount of it that gets on the ground because high nitrogen fertilizers can burn the roots of mango trees. So again, I'm going to show you the whole process. Uh, the fertilizer is, I, I'm going to be selling it on my website, but because of FDA rules, I can't make any claims about this product uh, as far as what it's going to do to the mango tree. I'm simply going to show you how I'm going to use it and I'm going to show you the results that I get and uh, I can talk about you know, the fact that there's been a lot of scientific studies that show that this does cause it to, to bloom, but I, I'm not going to make that claim. I'm simply going to show you what I do. Well, I can only sell it to you as a stump remover, which is actually how I bought it, is, is, is a stump remover. And I can make that claim that it will dissolve a stump if you pour this solution on a stump. Uh, it won't harm your tree. It's not organic. If you're an organic gardener, this method isn't going to work for you, but uh, it's very important that your tree is healthy if you're going to force it to bloom. Very important. If your tree is sl even slightly uh, unhealthy at all, you could actually do your tree in by doing this because you're going to force it to bloom, which requires a tremendous amount of energy. And that energy uh, can only come from a tree that's healthy. If that tree is already compromised, you could actually be doing some serious damage by forcing it to bloom. So it's very important that your tree be very healthy and disease free. And it's also uh, very important that your tree is old enough. If your tree is not of bearing age already, then you don't want to force it to bloom. For the same reasons, it's just too small, too young. Uh, this tree is six years old. You don't want to do this to a tree that's any younger than five. Really, six is almost too young. You, you might want to wait till a tree's about 10 years before you start doing this. But as long as it's at least five, you're not going to be harming the tree. Uh, you also don't want to do this more than once a year. In the Philippines, they are now squeezing three crops a year using this method, uh, which is impossible. Uh, no mango will ever produce three crops a year, but they're getting it to happen and they're doing it by spraying them with this fertilizer and forcing them to bloom. But it is harming their trees. 
So you don't want to do this more than once a year. Once a year, and, and it's really best to do it at the time that the mango should be blooming anyway, which is around the middle of winter time, which is right now. It is now today, January 17th. Uh, currently, you can't see it, but I'll probably I'll bring the camera up. There are no buds on any of these tips. It is not in a flushing state right now. It is, it is not in a growing state at all. So I'm going to document the entire thing from beginning to end. And uh, hopeful, hopefully it'll all work out and uh, you guys will see me eating some beautiful mangoes at the end of the video. And uh, I'm going to show you how to mix the solution up. Okay, so this is exactly 45 grams of the stump remover product. Now, you want this solution to be a 1% solution or as high as 2% solution. So, 38 grams would make a 1% solution. This is 45 grams, which puts it at approximately 1.2%, which is perfect. Now, it, it will dissolve in water, but it dissolves kind of slowly in this, it's in this pelletized form. So, uh, I, I've actually heated up a bowl of, of water, and so really all we have to do is dissolve this in water and bring the final volume up to one gallon. So. Once this is dissolved, it's going to go into my one gallon pump sprayer and we'll fill it up to the one gallon mark on the side. Uh, now it's important to remember, you know, if you're going to be doing this, do not just go to Home Depot and get any old stump remover. Some stump removers have herbicides in them and that's so that the stump that you're using, using it on doesn't begin to grow again. Well those herbicides will kill your mango tree, so not all stump removers are made equal. The substance that this is made out of is the same that is used in fertilizers, uh, and, and the one that I sell, the stump remover that I sell on my website, is exactly this same, same thing. So it's, it's safe to use on your mango tree as long as you use it correctly. And it looks like we are dissolved. Yes, we are. Okay, so now it's time to put it in the pump sprayer. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to put this in the pump sprayer. Now, it's really important to remember to fill it up only to the gallon line. You want 45 grams of this in a gallon. If you mix it all the way up to the, fill it all the way to the top, the concentration will be too low. And it may not work. It may still work, but it, it may not. So uh, the final concentration is very important. So we're going to fill this up to uh, the one gallon mark now. Okay, we've got the pump sprayer. You can see the water is down right at that line. Uh, I'm going to put the lid on and just sort of mix it up a little bit. All right. And we are ready to apply it. All right, now I'm about to apply this, this solution to the tree. And it's, uh, one thing I didn't mention before that's really important is that you do not want to do this in the middle of the, of the day on a bright sunny day that when this, this solution can burn your leaves if the sun hits it. So you do want to do it on a cloudy day. Uh, I generally will do this uh, in the evening. So right now the sun has gone down. Uh, so we're going to get this done right now while we still have some light. You also don't want to do it on a rainy day either because you want this solution to sit on the tree and dry on the tree. So we get all the leaves, top and bottom. Top and bottom. When you apply it, you want to make sure that you get the stems in the trunk as well. So 
So the tree is completely coated now. Uh, I was able to do it with one gallon uh, worth, worth of the solution. Uh, that was something I wanted to touch upon. Uh, you really need to know exactly how much uh, it's going to take to cover your tree. And all trees are all different sizes. So what I suggest you do is take your pump sprayer, fill it with water to the gallon mark, and spray your tree and get it completely wet as if you're actually treating the tree with this solution and see how much you need. If you, if you have to fill the tank twice, if you've got a much larger tree than this, two or three times, you're going to need that, that many gallons of the solution. And uh, I sell the uh, stump remover in uh, 45 gram packets, so each one is uh, dissolved directly into one gallon. You don't have to measure it out or anything. But I'm going to continue to uh, update this. Uh, every several days I'll probably come out here and, and uh, check the, the, the growth on it to see if it's flushing and, uh, and I'll, I'll keep you updated. Okay, it has been a week since I sprayed the mango for the first time. And there are no, no buds swelling yet. But I'm going to spray the whole tree one more time and I will continue to show updates throughout the whole process of this. Okay, so it has been exactly one week since I applied the, the solution to the tree, and now I'm about to reapply it uh, with another gallon. This is simply the same thing that I, that I mixed up for the, the first application, exactly the same, 45 grams of the stuff remover in this. So <clears throat> however much it takes to coat your tree, you're going to need twice that for the second, you know, one first application and the second application. I don't know if this is going to show it on the camera, but it has been two weeks and we now have buds beginning to swell. And that's exactly how long it should take. From the first treatment, you should start seeing uh, a flushing occur two weeks later. So it's been one week since the second treatment and two weeks since the first one. And I'll keep you updated, but it's it's happening now, which is exactly when it's supposed to happen. Okay, so today is February uh, 16th is the date. And you can see that we now have panicles growing. Uh, it's been really cold, um, but uh, they've been growing, so they've been growing kind of slowly, but they're still progressing, so anyway there are our flower panicles well now you can see we have panicles with fruit sets on them lots of little fruit sets and those little fruit sets are mostly going to drop off of there uh, you can normally expect between one and five mangoes per per panicle here in Florida I've seen pictures of trees in in India that had 15 or 20 mangoes per panicle, but I've never seen that happen here in Florida. Here's some larger ones. You see, they're about that size. All right, here are a couple that are even larger still. And they're about this size. And, uh, since this process that I'm showing you doesn't really have anything to do with fruit development, it really only causes the tree to bloom, I think this is, uh, this is where I'm going to end it. And so to recap, you want to make sure that your tree is mature enough and healthy enough to be forced into blooming. Uh, you're going to need to know the amount of solution that you're going to need. You do that by filling your pump sprayer with water and coating your tree with water and then reporting how much water it, it required. You're going to need twice that amount of solution because you're going to treat the tree twice. Once and then again one more time a week later. Uh, when you treat it, make sure you coat both the top and the bottoms of the leaves as well as the stems. And I hope that this video has been uh, informative for you. I hope that it's going to help you uh, have mangoes on your tree if you're having difficulty getting your mango tree to bloom. And uh, if you would like, I do sell the stump remover at my website. The link is below. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll be posting more videos every week. Thanks a lot. This video has been brought to you by the letter K, and the letter N, and the letter O, 
and the number three. Thanks for watching.